Jack Benny program. Starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Phil Harris, Rochester, Larry Stevens, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Now, let's see. What do you think of Texas Sandman, Rochester? He stands a pretty good chance, boss. Yeah. How about Surdy? A mighty good horse. Hmm. It's a shame that... It's a shame that Busher is out of the race. She would have been the heavy favorite. Uh -huh. Gee, she'd have been a stench. Wait a minute, boss. In horse racing, there's no such thing as a stench. Remember what happened to me last year when I bet on a stench? Didn't he win? Win? He came in last. When he finally did finish, he was disqualified for not having a jockey. <laughs> oh, you mean the jockey was thrown off? No, he starved to death. <laughs> now, well, let's look at the racing form again. I don't know. I still like that long shot, Ligero Honey. Oh, no, boss. You take Texas Sandman. He's by Shifton Sands, the second out of Swamp Queen. Oh, you mean his uh, mother and father? I still like Ligero Honey. But, boss, take a horse like Surdy. He's by Mio de Arezzo out of Risky Miss. Oh. What about Ligero Honey? He's an orphan. <laughs> well, so is Barbara Stanwyck, and she's doing all right. <laughs> Believe me. Barbara Stanwyck? Yes. She won the Daily Double Indemnity. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, that's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> double Indemnity. <laughs> oh, boy. That was good. I wish... <laughs> I wish Miss Livingston and Mr. Harris were here to hear that one. Yeah, I wish it was anybody but me. <laughs> Never mind. Come in! Gosh, I don't know. There's so many good horses in this race. There's Paper Boy, Bull Ray, Best Effort, Challenge Me. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. I don't see that here. <laughs> Jack, I said hello. Oh, 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 hello, Mary. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to pick a horse in the big race tomorrow. Oh, Jack, you shouldn't go to the races. You're such a hard loser. I am not. Go on. Last year when you went to the track, you had a vial of poison strapped to your leg. <laughs> Vile of poison, vile of poison. <laughs> you are so clever. Say, Rochester, here's a horse. Oh, say, Jack, I got a letter from Mama. She said she heard last week's program and thought it was great. She did? Yeah. She thought Ingrid Bergman was wonderful the way she played Gaslight. Well, she was. And Papa said you were as well as Charles Boyer. Good. What did Mama say to that? Nothing. She just gave Papa some black coffee and put him to bed. <laughs> Your mother wouldn't even like me if I was good. Now, here's a horse called Shuffle that... You know, Mary, I never saw anyone like your mother. She hates me, and I do everything in the world for her. I remember her on Christmas, her birthday, Mother's Day. What about that ocean trip I offered her to go to Europe? A fine offer. You told her to join the WAC. <laughs> well, if she couldn't pass her physical, it's not my fault. <laughs> Uh, See, challenge me, sickle's choice. That's a good one. I'll tell you another thing, Mary. If your mother doesn't change her attitude toward me, I'm going to stop sending her my old slaps. <laughs> now, let's see. Sickle's choice, challenge me. Now, Jack, Mama, all... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see. Hmm. I wonder how much weight she carries. 240 pounds. I'm not talking about your mother. <laughs> Anyway, if she'd taken some of that off, she would have passed her physical. <laughs> Let's see. Sickle's choice. Come in! Next time you write a letter to your mother, tell her the... Well, hi, Larry. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Larry. How's married life? Oh, fine, except that my wife can't cook very well. What do you mean? Well, we had some people over for dinner two weeks ago, and I don't think the meal agreed with them. Why, what'd they say? Nothing. They're still sitting there. <laughs> Sickle's choice. Is it Mr. Benny, are we going to rehearse for the program? As soon as the rest of them get here. Then I'll go in by the piano and rehearse my song, Navajo Trail. Okay, okay. 
Sickles Choice challenge me. Corbett's riding Georgie Drum. Peterson. <laughs> I've gone over this racing form five times, and I think you're right. It looks like Texas Sandman all the way. Now are you talking, boss? That settles it. Texas Sandman. I'm going out there tomorrow and put two dollars right on his nose. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. You can give me your dollar now, Rochester. <laughs> If the world comes to an end tomorrow, it's okay with me. I've seen everything. What did you say, Mary? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Now, Rochester, when I go to the track tomorrow, I'm going to wear my brown tweed suit. Is it pressed? Yes, sir. Good. By the way, I found out about you wearing my gray suit Wednesday night when I was out. Me? Yes, I found out all about it. Now, admit it. You did wear it, didn't you? Yes, sir. Doggone, that parrot's been talking again. <laughs> Has not. I'm sick and tired of the way that, he, that bird spies on me. Rochester, my parrot doesn't spy on you. Then how come his returned address is the house on 92nd Street? <laughs> Never mind that. Now, Rochester, the rest of the gang will be here soon. We're going to rehearse in the library. So be sure there are plenty of chairs in there. Okay. Dog on that parrot. He tells the boss everything he sees. Mm, I wonder how long you'd have to cook a parrot before it's tender. <laughs> oh, God, I'd like to hit him over the head with his own drumstick. <laughs> well, I'd better go and get the library fixed up. Kind of dusty in here. Guess I'd better... <laughs> Look at him sitting in that cage watching me. I'd better get busy or he'll rat on me. Hello, hello, hello. I won't pay any attention to him. Hey, Rochester. Hey, Rochester. <laughs> I better move these 
chairs over here. Hey, Rochester. Hey, Rochester. Child, quiet, blabbermouth. <laughs> One of these days. Rochester. Yes, boss. Answer the door. Answer the door. Answer the door. Answer the door. <laughs> you, be, you better be quiet, Polly. Don't you tell me what to do. You know, I've been around here longer than you have, and if you keep that up, I'm going <laughs> to... Okay. Oh, hello, Rochester. Hi, you, Roch. Hello, gentlemen. It's Mr. Harris and Mr. Wilson, boss. Oh, come on in, fellas. Come on, Mary. Everybody's here. We better start rehearsing. Okay. Hello, Don, Phil. Say, you boys are a little late. It's my fault, Jackson. I started playing with my little daughter, and I forgot all about the time. Oh, that's all right, Phil. Say, Phil, I saw your little daughter the other day, and that baby is sure growing. She looks just like Alice. You ain't kidding, Mary. Last night, she put on Alice's high-heeled shoes and one of her long dresses, and... I couldn't tell them apart. Honest? Yeah, after dinner, I threw Alice in the crib and took the kid to the Palladium. <laughs> Phil, Phil, you know that didn't happen. Well, it was the kid or the nurse. Somebody went with me. <laughs> now, let's forget it and start the rehearsal. Jack, I wish that last week you'd have let me be Charles Boyer in that sketch with Ingrid Bergman. Oh, fine. Fate Boyer. <laughs> no, I'm serious, Jack. Listen. Uh, uh, Don. Let me take you in my arms and press you close. Don, you're hurting me. <laughs> now, come on, we're late. Let's get on with the rehearsal. Yeah, let's get started. All right, kids. Now, here's the rehearsal. Now, Phil's band picks up right after the commercial. All right, hit it, Phil. Can it be the breeze that fills the trees with rare and magic perfume? Oh, no! It isn't the breeze, it's Jackson time. La da da da. Now. <laughs> then. Then. <laughs> Then after Don's introduction, I say thank you, thank you. Hello again, this is Jack Benny talking. And say, Mary, did you have a good time at the races yesterday? Well, go ahead, Mary, you got the next line. Oh, Jack, I don't want to do that corny joke. It's awful. It is not awful. I wrote it myself. Well, just listen the way it sounds. You say, did you have a good time at the races, Mary? And then I have to say, well, yes, except the horse I bet on was so slow, the jockey had to get off and bush her. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it, Phil? Yeah, I got it all over me. <laughs> well, I like the gag, and it stays in. Well, then everything that Fred Allen says about you is right. Well, let's not talk anymore about Boston's half-baked bean. We got to get on with this. Oh, there's a phone. We can never finish a rehearsal. Hello? Hello, is my daddy there? Your dad... Oh, is this Phil Harris's little girl? Yes, and I want to talk to Hotshot. <laughs> Hotshot? Is that what your mommy called your daddy? No, that's what he calls himself. <laughs> no. Yes, Hotshot Harris with the heavenly hair. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Well, just, just a second, honey. I'll call your daddy. Hey, hot shot. You're wanted on the phone. Okay. Hello? Hello, daddy. Oh, hello, baby. Is there anything wrong? Yes, daddy. I just came back from the candy store. Oh, well, what did you buy? Nothing. They told me the check you gave me is no good. <laughs> What do they mean, no good? I made that check out properly, and I signed it, too. I know, J Daddy, but you put your X on the wrong line. <laughs> oh, well, I'll straighten it out when I get home. Goodbye, sweetheart. Goodbye, hot shot. <laughs> Nothing wrong, is there, Phil? No, let's get on with the rehearsal. <laughs> oh, we are all... Oceans apart You're never off of my heart 
I simply close my eyes and You had the last line, and as soon as we... Hiya, Betty. Hello, 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 everybody. Thought I'd drop in to see if I can get any ideas for a couple of publicity stories. Oh, hello, Steve. Sit down. We're rehearsing. Well, go right ahead. Just pretend I'm one of the family and make believe I'm not here at all. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Now, Mary, let's forget the Busher joke and go on hey, with... Hey, Benny, I got a publicity campaign mapped out for you that's a dilly. I'm going to give you a new build-up. I'm going to play down Benny the Comedian and play up Benny the Glamour Boy. Me? Glamour boy? Ah, uh, certainly. Your name should be in the gossip columns every day, tied up with a lot of dames. You know, the romantic angle. But, Steve, I'm almost 37. <laughs> but, 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 huh? Nobody let that get out of this room. <laughs> but, Steve, look at Yes, Benny, the romantic angle. That's it. I've got everything fixed up. Tomorrow night, you're going out with Lana Turner. But, but will Lana Turner go out with me? Why, sure. We're going to wrap a towel around your head and call you Turhan Benet. <laughs> now, wait a yeah, minute. When I get through with this campaign, Benny will be as famous as hot dogs or apple pie. Jack Benny will be the delight of the Bobby Sox Brigade. Jack Benny will be the... Get <laughs> Polly, sit down. <laughs> Just pretend I'm one of the family and make believe I'm not here at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Steve. That was my parrot. Oh, well, I gotta get going anyway now. So I'll see you a little later. So long. So long. Uh, oh, oh, say, Benny, don't let that 37 get out of this room. From now on, you're 25. Oh, Steve, how can I look like 25? What you haven't got in the flesh, I can get out of a jar. So long. <laughs> Steve, what happened? You're 37 again. I dropped the jar. <laughs> well, I'm glad he's gone. Now, come on, kids. Let's finish the rehearsal. Will you?
That was the most tiring rehearsal I ever went through. So many interruptions. Uh, I hope I get a good night's sleep. Gee, this bed feels good. Well, I might as well take my shoes off. This little piggy went to market. <laughs> this little piggy... Oh, I guess I'm too old for that. <laughs> I was 25 for a few minutes there. Uh, Say, I wonder if... Where's the mirror? Say, I don't look so bad with this towel around my head. <laughs> hmm. I'm the sheik of Araby. <laughs> Lana's love belongs to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I better turn out the light to get to bed. Gee, I hope I do well at the track tomorrow. I think Rochester was right. Texas Sam, man, looks like a good bet. Of course, there's so many good horses that race, you can't sell. Are you with it? That's a good show bet. Mm -hmm. Sergey Sickles' choice. Mm -hmm. Jack, Jack, have you placed your bet yet? Yes, Mary. I bet $85,000 on Challenge Me. And just to ensure it, I paid $2 on Texas Sandman to show. <laughs> I got a hunch Challenge Me is the horse. Who are you betting now, Mary? I put 50000 on Rinso White. <laughs> Better be careful, Mary. A whole week's salary. Oh, it? Jack, look. <laughs> look, Jack, there's a horse in this race called Buck Benny. Where? Oh, yes, Buck Benny, named after me. Hey, Jackson, who are you betting on the 56th race? Well, I'm thinking of Gypsy Rose Lee. So am I, but who are you betting on? <laughs> Well, I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, in the next race, Texas Sandman will run with blinkers and a whip. I must mark that down. I... Single choice will run with blinkers and a whip. I must make a note of that, too. Buck Benny will run with glasses and a cane. <laughs> Mary, how do you spell cane? Uh, W-L-X-T-Y-G-R. Isn't there an E in it or something? <laughs> Hey, Mary, look, the horses are passing us now on the way to the track. Yeah, and look at poor Busher. She can't be in the race because of a lame leg. Yeah, isn't that a shame? I'm going over and give her a lump of sugar. Hello, Busher, old girl. <laughs> you hurt your little footsie, didn't you, girlie? I'm so sorry you're not in the race. How do you feel, Busher? Lousy. Oh, yeah. Say, Busher, I put $85,000 on Challenge Me. What do you think of his chances? With me, I'll they've all got a chance. I guess so. Well, goodbye, Busher. I'll see you at Claudette's on New Year's. <laughs> Gee, I'm sorry she hurt her foot there. The horses are all in the starting gate. Steady. Yeah. <laughs>
she's been there so long. <laughs> Just in this for the story is this, and here comes Mildred Pierce. <laughs> Mildred Pierce? Loving her is my shaking hands with the devil. You're not kidding. They're all in the bunch of their journey for home, so while they're all gathered together, I want to say a few words. Horses, do you ever suffer from a frail tail? <laughs> Do you get bloats from your own? You do? Then why not try sympathy? Gee, I didn't know that was good for horses, too. They're coming down the home stretch in gas lights, eight by two lights. Mary's mother is second. Gee, Mary didn't tell me she was running today. I've been... Oh, yes. And gosh, what a dream that was. Oh, Rochester. Rochester, quick. What? Give me a sleeping pill. I gotta find out who won. <laughs> I don't want to do that joke about Busher. I think it's terrible. Well, that's all right, Mary. I don't want to hurt Busher's feelings anyway. She told me she feels awful. What? Busher told me that... Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs> 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 